I'm Andrew. I'm Alyssa. And this, this is Dragon's Adventures. What's up, everybody? Good morning. It is day one, and we are off to Las Vegas. Now, we haven't been in quite some time. I mean, I can't even think what was new last time we were there. Um, I'll figure it out, I'm sure. But uh, we're off to Vegas. We're doing a little family trip. Uh, all the Braggins Adventures crew is going. We're taking three different vehicles out there meeting. and meeting. Uh, we'll do some stuff together and some stuff separately, but we're going to take you along all the way. Let's go. Today's video is actually going to be about the road to Vegas. Now these are some stops that we uh, recommend and, and some that we don't if you're coming from like the Los Angeles area, if you're traveling east towards Vegas. Um, we actually tried a, 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 a new stop today because normally we stop at the, the either the Barstow station where that McDonald's is or at the uh, outlets right before Barstow. We decided today, though, not to do those stops. Instead, we decided to grab breakfast at the original, well, let me rephrase that, at the uh, oldest standing Del Taco. So join us as we take you on the road to Vegas, and we'll give you our recommendations of places to stop and places to avoid. here at the oldest operating Del Taco. Uh, common misconception, everybody likes to say it's the first Del Taco, it's not. Um, the first Del Taco was up the road in Yerma. It's long since shuttered its doors, which made this now the oldest operating Del Taco. Uh, corporate does consider this Del Taco to be Del Taco one, like in the numbering structure, but it's not the first Del Taco. Um, but oldest operating Del Taco, you wouldn't know it by looking at it. They have remodeled. Um, it looks like a modern Del Taco, both inside and out. But uh, we thought we'd stop here, grab some breakfast before we uh, continue on.
All right, guys, we're here at stop number two on the way to Vegas, Alien Jerky. We love this place. We stop every time we come through here. Beef jerky is terrible for you, but it's so delicious. They have a wide variety of flavors, so we're gonna take you inside right now. super big they, they've expanded even farther since last time we we're here it's, it's now like three shops wide pretty much uh what we get Alyssa? all right so we got four bags of jerky we got whiskey beef jerky okay we got hot and spicy beef jerky we got garlic gotta get garlic gotta we love garlic. garlic and there's something else in here barbecue on the moon barbecue on the moon guys i don't even know what that is and, and of course we had to get a uh, we got a license plate. plate. We we have a collection of license plates. And then of course you guys all know me. I had to get my my yeah. hot sauce. Stupid crazy hot sauce. Um, What's this one? This is called Kentucky Straight Bourbon Reaper hot sauce. They had Reaper. so many, you guys, and a lot of the names are like super hilarious, super funny, but, but highly like, inappropriate for us to say on this channel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, it, I would say they probably had 150 varieties in there. Um. And some of them looked and sounded very very spicy reaper's very hot but i'm hoping the bourbon's gonna mellow it out and give us a little bit of sweetness there yeah i want spice but yeah. i want flavor yeah definitely uh cool place always has to be a stop if you're going to or coming from vegas some point on your trip if you're in california you gotta hit alien beef jerky here in baker all right guys part of the expansion that alien beef jerky is doing and apparently they've been working on this since the last time we were here my son just told me um but none of this was actually built yet but it looks like they're putting a food court and a hotel back here so you can come stay at alien beef jerky at some point it's not open yet none of it's open yet looks like this little restaurant behind us is going to be pretzels uh that are shaped like alien heads instead of mickey heads like if you're at disneyland uh, and a variety of dips and stuff so um always expanding here in Baker. Uh, definitely come check out Alien Jerky. <laughs> All right, guys, stop number three uh, on our way to Vegas. We are at Prim State Line. We stopped at the Prim Valley Resort. Specifically, we're about to go into the Prism Outlets, um, which is like the, the mall that's attached to the hotel. So come on in. All right, guys, so we're walking through the Prism Outlets uh, in Prim and it has been a while since I've been here. Uh, it's been a while since anybody's been here, apparently. The shops are all closed. They're boarded up. Um, it's a ghost town in here. It smells like the inside of a YMCA. Uh, I just feel like people kind of just forgot this existed, including the people that own it. Um, I, I don't know, I mean, look around. Look at that. We're like the only people in here. Shops are all boarded up. And they got this new graffiti mural thing going on, which is supposed to, I guess, make it better somehow. And they are pretty, they're, they're pretty artworks, but like, wouldn't we rather, instead of these murals, wouldn't you rather those four shops are blocking were open and like had business in here? Uh, the cool thing I'm gonna say though, there's a Bath and Body Works in here that's an outlet Bath and Body Works. We just got four soaps 
for under $12. And if you know Bath & Body Works, you know that's dirt cheap. Alyssa's very happy. Uh, the three wick candles, the $25 three wick candles, 10 bucks here. Select ones. I mean, it's not every flavor, but we got four great soaps for 12 bucks. And Good customer service too. Fantastic service in there. So the shops that are here are trying, but they need help, man. Management's got to come in here and do something. Uh, I, this is a skip it for me. I, I wouldn't bother. If you want to stop at Prim to pee or something, great. There are restrooms here. They were clean. Very, they were, they were very clean restrooms. But you don't have to walk them all. We did it for you. Not worth it. Let's go. Just all calm anyhow if we feel like we're in a zombie apocalypse moment here because we're literally the only ones in here and then they found this merry-go-round that works and put a dollar in for all three of them to ride it's playing creepy music it's kind of run down and it's kind of sound uh but guys welcome to the prism outlets <laughs> So guys, we we got to the casino. We ended up walking through. Uh, I told you I had high hopes that that it might be better, but sadly, no, it was not. Um, the thing that kills me is Alyssa and I used to actually come to State Line for vacation. We would skip Vegas because it was a little less crowded, um, somehow more happening, and uh, cheaper, obviously. And it just feels like. I don't know. I, it, Buffalo Bills is closed. One of the three hotel casinos is closed. It's been closed since before COVID and just never reopened. That had the roller coaster and some cool entertainment, great dining. And then the Prim, I mean, if I had to guess, there's maybe 100 people total in here right now. And yes, we are here on a Thursday. I get that. But I, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe this is where slot machines go to die. Um, like when the other bigger cooler casinos are like, hey, we're just gonna toss these. Prim comes in with a truck, it's like, we'll take them. Uh, it's bad guys, it, it's it's damp in here. Uh, it, it, it's stuffy. Uh, I, I don't wanna be in here anymore, we're gonna leave. It, it, skip, skip Prim, I gotta say it now. Um, skip state line. You, you can, unless you gotta go to the bathroom, you can go straight on through to Vegas. Makes me really sad. Hey guys, it's Andrew. I didn't mean to interrupt your video, but I just wanted to take a moment to ask you to click that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you could, please do share these videos on social media. And by the way, we love chatting with you in the comments. Let us know what you liked or disliked down below, and let us know what you want to see in the future. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you on the next adventure.